What's going on, y'all, here with the first run of the Berserker? So um, I did go ahead and put a uh, uh, RPM bumper on the front of this, and I'm running a 2000 kV motor with a 100 amp speed control, and I'm going to run it on 3S first, and I'm going to try it out for 4S. So one thing I did notice is just from test driving it, like in my place and stuff, it does kind of have a lack of um, acceleration, so I'm going to have to adjust that punch setting on the speed controller probably to maybe 5 or 6 or as high as high as it can go because it does have a, a slight hesitation but the truck does look good though you guys can see from there uh it is, is a mean looking truck yeah i think it is so especially with the tires and stuff like that on there so anyway let's go ahead and uh get this set up i see dogs around here so making sure there's no uh no landmines around here and we already got our first flip all right so tires got a heck of grip <laughs> So we kind of know that. And this is just on 3S. So it seems like it's going pretty good on 3S. I see these people over here with dogs in the park. is kind of more packed than it normally is. Probably going to have to soften these shocks up just a little bit. We get that set up. I better not go too far though, because uh, like I said, them dogs was over there. Last thing we want to do is get in the car. And then uh, <laughs> I'll be driving, I'll be like, what's that smell? All it's not going too bad on 3S though. So I couldn't imagine this on 6S, but Definitely when I take it to do a super speed Saturday, I'll be changing out the tires and wheels on it as well. So, I don't want them to get too close over there. Got people spectating and they keep getting closer and closer. <laughs> okay. So this might be a short test of this, I don't know. Definitely gonna have to soften these shocks up. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'll change the shock wall out probably. I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna more or less uh, make this a a three or four S truggy until Armor gives us one. <clears throat> <laughs> We waiting on y'all. Armor, maybe Red Cat will come out with one. Um, maybe Traxxas will do it, I don't know. <laughs> it would be nice to get one though. To be able to get 3S and get still about 35, 38 miles per hour and then do 4S and then hit 50 miles per hour on it. So I think that'd be a pretty good. Okay, so they're leaving. I got a little bit more area to to run with. So in case y'all ask, I am using my SMC LiPo in here. Make sure anybody walking up behind me. Probably when I test 4S, I'll probably go to that open, that other field to where I get a little bit more space to run it. It's not handling too bad out here. I'm kind of surprised.
All right, that's a run on 3S. We're gonna go ahead, y'all see my 4S life plan. We're gonna go ahead and put 4S in here. And I'm gonna go out to probably right about there. I have a little bit more room because I know it's gonna be a lot faster on 4S. And then we'll see what this can do real quick. So give me a minute, let me get a 4S in here. All right, y'all, we are out here with 4S life And there's one thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, I did wrong with this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I did not take off the plastic protective foam <laughs> before I put these stickers on. I was in a rush and it was late last night. And y'all know how it is. Y'all hear crack meaning and stuff. So I didn't take that off. So that kind of sucks. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, test this on 4S. That's that kind of delay right there I was telling you guys about. I did do a quick walk around for landmines. big difference and this is with a 2000 kv so 6s that this thing would just be a monster probably be back flipping all over the place which is what i don't want with this truck here i'd allow the throttle there <laughs> this is probably gonna be a quick run there's a lot of people out here at the park Dogs barking, all that stuff. So, but I definitely will be um, bringing this out to get a better run of this. But I did want to try at least to get a run out to show this to you guys before the the weekend started. I think it's uh, doing pretty good. I think it's doing real good. You guys can go to hobbyking.com and check on some of their kits and stuff out there. I think they have a newer version of this, but from my heard of rumors, the newer version, the newer version is not that good. Um, don't know, but if you guys are interested in buying this after I test run it here. You can go to buymystuffjt.com. Uh, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I know some of y'all like, wait, wait, write it down. Buymystuffwho.com? <laughs> just playing. <laughs> yeah, 4S with this kind of setup is perfect. I'll have to run it and then check the temperatures on it. But I keep seeing those patches of grass and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I just drove through. I didn't, but I just, in my mind, I'm paranoid out here. Seeing bugs and flies going around. I'm like, where they at? I know it's a landmine out here somewhere. Yeah, this is going good. I'm impressed. I think some adjustments in the shocks will be good. Um, Cameron will serve what I have up in here. That's the body hitting on the tires or the tires hitting on that body making that noise. The tires are still ballooning a little bit. And I know the transmission was kind of stiff before I even put the motor in it. Like normally you can just kind of twist it and feel it, but it was a little bit tighter than I had anticipated. So maybe just needs to run through a couple of packs, get some oil in there, maybe check some of the bearings or something like that. Of course, I'll get the, the little ramp out and see how he does with jumping as well. I know that this does have a few weak points. Uh, some weak points would be the wing mount. I know a lot of trucks and truckies have a weak point on the wing mount. Um, I do have this bumper on the front of it. You guys see that RPM bumper on the front of it? So I do have that uh, to help protect with the A on there. You guys see that stuttering? So I have to make some few adjustments, but... I think all in all, it's still going pretty good. Especially on this crazy terrain out here.
<laughs> All right, y'all. One more rundown. One more rundown before I end this video. I gotta run it one more time. I'll run it when I get off camera too, but I want to kind of get in that dirt and get loose. But there's a lot of cars over there, and I wouldn't like it if I was if I parked my car there and an RC car was just making donuts and dust was just flying all up in the air. <laughs> But that's a quick run of this. Here it is on 4S, and then you guys saw it on 3S. So it's pretty good so far. Um, I think some minor adjustments may need to be made, but out the box, I think it's pretty good. And you can run it on 3 or 4S. And I think the ready to run version, you can run 3, 4, or 6S on it as well. But this is pretty good, guys. I'm pretty impressed with how it's handling and stuff. I may try the other differential in the small opinion gear. I doubt it. I got to check some temperatures on here and stuff like that, but um, we'll see. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. That, that didn't go good at all. <laughs> I tried to blast off. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next video. <laughs>